Hello children, today again we are going to uh, continue the lesson Acid, Bases and Salts. In the previous session we have already discussed about chloralkali process, okay, in which uh, sodium chloride is used as a raw material and we get the products hydrogen, chlorine and sodium hydroxide and we also learned the uses of each one and when hydrogen and chlorine combine uh, together, we will get hydrochloric acid. We also learn the uses of that hydrochloric acid. And when chlorine and sodium hydroxide combine together, we will get uh, bleaches. And we also uh, learn the uses of bleaches. Okay. Today, we are going to discuss some other salts. The first one among that is bleaching powder. Okay. Bleaching powder. Right. Bleaching powder is having a chemical formula CaOCl2. Okay. The chemical name is calcium oxychloride. Calcium oxychloride. Okay. So bleaching powder is having a chemical formula CaOCl2 and the chemical name of which is Calcium oxychloride. Now let us learn about the method of preparation and uses of bleaching powder. Method of preparation. Method of preparation and also the uses of bleaching powder. Okay. Bleaching powder is made when Chlorine gas is passed over dry slaked lime. What is slaked lime? Calcium hydroxide. Okay, this is the chemical reaction. When chlorine gas is passed over dry slaked lime. Okay, dry slaked lime. This is slaked lime. Slaked lime. It should be dry, not wet. Okay. So, what will happen? We will get calcium oxychloride which is bleaching powder bleaching powder and also we will get water ok now let us uh, discuss about the uses of bleaching powder maybe you have already know some of the uses of bleaching powder what is that it is used as a uh, disinfectant for killing the germs. Bleaching powder is added to water, right? To kill the germs, isn't it? So, let us discuss some more uh, uses of bleaching powder. So, uses of bleaching powder. The first one is, it is used for bleaching, for bleaching, okay? Uh, many things, I will write, for example, cotton, uh, also linen clothes okay for bleaching cotton linen clothes in textile industries uh, next one is uh, second one is uh, to uh, bleach the wood pulp in paper industry paper making industry it is used to bleach the wood pulp wood pulp in paper industries okay and also it is used in laundries okay for bleaching washed clothes washed clothes in laundries okay if you want to bleach your cloth after washing so if you ask them to bleach it they will use bleaching powder for bleaching washed clothes all right and next main usage is it is used as an oxidizing agent oxidizing agent you know that bleaching powder is calcium oxychloride oxygen is here so bleaching powder what is an oxidizing agent oxidizing agent is a substance which can release 
donate oxygen right. So, here in calcium oxychloride this oxygen is ready to be donated are you getting therefore bleaching powder is a very good oxidizing agent in chemical in many chemical reactions okay and the last one that you already know it is used as a disinfectant disinfectant in uh, disinfectant for water for water to kill germs okay so there are three main uses for bleaching many things i have already discussed oxidizing agent okay because oxygen is ready to be donated and it works as a disinfectant for water to kill germs okay so we'll continue the next salt next salt that we are going to discuss is baking soda okay baking soda baking soda is having a chemical formula nahco3 that is sodium hydrogen carbonate baking soda is a white color powder which is present almost in all kitchens okay to bake cakes to make the cake soft and spongy also it is used for making the cooking faster and also it is used to make crispy snacks like pakoras mixture chips etc okay so the chemical formula of baking soda is nahco3 sodium hydrogen carbonate now let's see how can we prepare uh, baking soda or method of preparation of baking soda and what are the uses of baking soda okay so method of preparation method of preparation when for making uh, baking soda sodium chloride is used as one of the raw material okay when sodium chloride is okay reacted with water carbon dioxide and ammonia okay what are what are the uh, reagents sodium chloride water carbon dioxide and ammonia okay we will get baking soda nahco3 also we will get one more salt which is ammonium chloride ammonium chloride is having a chemical formula nh4cl so this is baking soda and this is ammonium chloride okay now let us think about what are the uses of baking soda okay so some uh, some of the important uses of baking soda is number 1 baking soda is used as an antacid because it is a mild salt okay because it is a very mild non corrosive salt to uh, to neutralize the excess acid present in our stomach we can have uh, baking soda mixed with water to uh, uh, what to say neutralize the excess acid produced in our stomach so it is it can be used as an antacid okay first use is an antacid so uses are uses number 1 it can be used as an an antacid as an antacid okay so what is an antacid antacid is a medicine which is a base to neutralize the excess acid excess hydrochloric acid produced in our stomach okay second usage is it is used as a used in soda acid fire extinguishers what is that soda acid fire extinguishers what is a uh, fire extinguisher you know that 
fire department they use uh, extinguishers fire extinguishers for extinguishing the fire accidents isn't it so one of the type of fire extinguisher is soda acid fire extinguisher so inside is the cylinder uh, baking soda and an acid will be present so what will happen they will react each other and what are the products when uh, soda baking soda and sodium hydrogen carbonate and an acid react each other salt water and also carbon dioxide we learned when we studied the chemical reactions of acid isn't it acid will acid will react uh, with sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate or any other metal carbonate or bicarbonate to produce three products salt water and also carbon dioxide you know that carbon dioxide gas is a very good fire extinguisher so uh, baking soda is used in soda acid fire extinguishers okay the third use of baking soda is very important use to prepare baking powder okay to prepare or to make to prepare baking powder okay now remember baking powder and baking soda are different okay even we are using baking powder also in our kitchens to make the cake soft and spongy to make uh, the cooking faster almost all the uses of baking soda okay but what is baking powder baking powder is actually mixture mixture of what baking soda and a uh, mild acid like tartaric acid okay so it can be any other mild acid commonly tartaric acid so what is baking powder it is a mixture of what it is a mixture of baking soda and a mild acid like I'll, one example i'll write tartaric acid remember uh, this mixture will be in dry form okay not acid will not be in liquid form dry form remember uh, both of the mixtures both of the substances will be in dry form okay now uh, let us discuss about how does baking soda and also baking powder uh, react in food items to make the food items soft and spongy okay so very important reaction usually in board exams the, these questions are related questions are asking okay so listen here very carefully so uh, we'll discuss what's the chemical reaction of baking soda and baking powder to make the cake soft and spongy let's discuss first baking soda okay baking soda you know that it is nah co3 so suppose you have added baking soda to cake mixture okay so the reaction will not occur that time when you mix it the sudden reaction will not occur when the mixture the cake mixture is heated okay so heat should be there heated what will happen the sodium hydrogen carbonate will split into some compounds okay they are sodium carbonate okay and carbon dioxide and water what are the products when baking soda is heated okay you know when you bake a cake uh, definitely you will put that in high temperature that time the added baking soda will decompose and sodium carbonate carbon dioxide and hydrogen uh, sorry water are produced so carbon dioxide we know that it's a gas so that gas bubbles bubbles of carbon dioxide will trap inside the cake mixture so that what will happen if a uh, bubbles of a gas trapped inside in some material like a sponge isn't it what is there in the sponge air air uh, air molecules are there that is why the sponge is compressible same like when carbon dioxide gas is trapped inside the cake mixture after baking the cake will become very soft and spongy hope you understood okay how baking soda 
helps to make the cake soft and spongy. Now let's think about how baking powder reacts to make the cake soft and spongy. Okay, the chemical reaction baking powder, baking powder. Okay, we know that baking powder is actually a mixture of sodium hydrogen carbonate baking soda and an acid right like tartaric acid okay so you know that in presence of water in presence of water what will happen acid this acid can release h plus ions in aqueous solution isn't it so when you add baking powder to cake mixture water content is there so when you add that uh, that mixture i mean baking powder to the cake mixture soon the reaction will start what is the reaction the acid in the mixture baking powder will start to release h plus ions so what will happen acid and a base this is a base right it's a mild base okay here it is an acid so acid and base what will happen they will start to react each other they, they will start to neutralize each other so when an acid uh, reacts with the uh, uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate what are the products a salt will be formed okay so if you use tartaric acid what will be the salt sodium tartarate okay so sodium salt of the corresponding acid sodium salt hope you understood what is that when an acid reacts with a base okay which salt the corresponding salt there is no common salt isn't it there is no specific salt for every reaction according to the acid and base taken the salt may vary so here if the acid taken is tartaric acid okay sodium tartarate will be formed if it is citric acid for example sodium citrate so you can just write sodium salt of acid sodium salt of acid so if it is tartaric sodium tartarate if it is citric acid sodium citrate if any other so the corresponding salt okay plus carbon dioxide plus water we know we have already learned the reaction of acid with sodium bicarbonate so three products will be formed salt water and carbon dioxide same like the previous reaction this carbon dioxide gas will trap inside the cake mixture which will make the uh, cake soft and spongy okay so hope you understood we will continue with washing soda uh, plaster of paris gypsum uh, some more salts are there and also one uh, one more thing water of crystallization okay so we, we will discuss in the coming classes hope you understood well okay thank you and have a nice day